pollution is, is very well aligned with, with our priorities. We, as you may know, we are uh, putting a lot of efforts in, in food security. It's, a, it's in our highest priority from, from the government. And also climate change uh, mitigation and adaptation um, uh, fight is, is also very well connected with food security. Climate information is very related to food security, specifically through the impacts that climate change and variability will have on food security. So therefore, if you don't understand the climate information, then you are not going to be able to understand the risk associated uh, to um, food security because of climate change. So climate information is key to understand how we can engage into um, doing research around solutions to tackle the risks that climate imposed on food security. challenges in terms of knowledge limitations. So uh, if we think about uh, climate models, these are um, somehow limiting what we can do in terms of doing uh, food impact studies. So uh, there's a huge challenge in terms of improving those climate models because we still have a lot of uncertainties. So it's a little bit hard to, to make decisions using that information. I really want that this symposium could uh, reach policy makers. Uh, in order for them to take better decision on um, and invest in an in information system, uh, data collection and other. And on the other hand, I expect that the scientist community could uh, also be aware of the local needs, uh, the farmers need on uh, inf climatic information for uh, climate adaptation and mitigation in the agriculture sector. And especially taking into account uh, the needs of the family farmers that are an important, I am repeating this, an important part of the food security in our regions.